Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Vaughn, and today we're going to be checking out a game called Magic Maker. It is by Tasty Studios. S-T-E-W... That's, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, I'm so hungry. Um, but before lunch, let's take a look at Magic Maker. Uh, it is a game that is going to be out on Steam on September 22nd. Uh, I think I'm going to put this video out the same day. Uh, maybe maybe earlier, I don't, I don't know. Man, th this whole menu, or this whole title screen is interactive. It's kind of cool. Um, every one of these panels represents a rune in the game, and we'll get to that in just a second. Let me just continue on for my game. I've been playing for about, uh, I don't know, I'd say about an hour, maybe. I, I was kind of got stuck and dicking around for a while. <laughs> I think my actual Steam time is like three hours, but I was kind of playing with the world for a while. Game's really pretty. I don't know if you noticed this. It's like kind of almost paper crafty, but I don't know. It's cute. The whole game is very, very cute. I'll just give it that. Um, so the basic thing about this game is that you go into different worlds, and it's a little bit not too difficult to platforming, although there was one level that was a lot of platforming. Uh, there is no there is no controller support, it's just keyboard and mouse, because you have to use your mouse to aim your spells. Uh, you do have a variety of spells. Your left mouse button is your magic wand, uh, your right mouse button is your spell, and then you can switch using the number keys, like... Oh, well, if I, actually, no, you can't switch using the number keys. My mistake. Uh, if you use the mouse wheel, you can switch which of your spells is set up on your uh, right mouse button. But if you just hit the one or two, you can cast either one so you don't have to switch if you really need to throw a spell really quick. Um, so, what is this game exactly? It's kind of a little bit of adventuring. Um, you, Your tutorial mission is your trial to become the janitor of this wizard school. And uh, this is the wizard school. It is the hub of the game where it has portals to different areas of the world. It's a Durwall Community College. No monsters are allowed. Uh, it's a little racist, but uh, you know I'm okay with that. Uh, the cool thing about it, as I mentioned, those runes, you can customize just about everything. Uh, your wands, spells. If you you can switch out these runes, you can just click them to get rid of them. So in my wand, say I want to do some fire stuff. So I'll se select my uh, fire rune. And these, this is a grade F rune. I think I have maybe only one that's grade D right now. Yeah, my uh, Quicksilver gear is grade D. You can choose which one you want to use. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between these. It doesn't really communicate that very well. The tutorial doesn't really tell you. It, it does tell you how to like craft spells and stuff, but it doesn't really say the differences. Like it doesn't explain these numbers and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. It's fine. It's something. You it encourages you to tinker around, like, with everything anyway, so it's fine. Um, so let's see, I want to throw fireballs. So I'll do fire damage, 10 fire damage over 5 seconds. Adds that right to my wand. And, uh, say I want it to have, uh, an arc range of 6 meters. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, see this? Uh, I can't point over here while pointing. Uh, but if you read over here, while I'm hovered, uh, it'll arc your spell to the next enemy on collision. Uh, the arc range is six magic meters. All the ranges in this are mega meters, and uh, arc power reduction. So it gets a 50% damage reduction with every arc. Uh, yeah, that's cool. We'll do that. So now it's fire and arcing fire and lightning. Uh, what else can we put on here? Uh, cast speed. This will increase your casting speed for your rate of fire. Um, this one will ho cause homing. The crystal ball causes homing for your shots, which is kind of weird. But I guess, I don't know, it's arcing. I don't know, we'll try that. Homing Force, 50. No idea what that stat means. So now we have a crazy new spell on our uh, left mouse button. Oh man, it's got like, it's a fireball with electricity coming off it with damage over time. That's that's kind of weird. Look at that. Oh, that has, does that have gravity? Yeah, it arcs. That's weird. But anyway, um, yeah, let's go into a mission, shall we? Uh, there's a portal right down here. There's several portals all over this hub. There's a mini-map in the upper left-hand corner that gives you all that. Uh, gives you an idea of where everything is, but I happen to know that this one's right here. So let's go on in. Oh, you can fully customize your character as well. I just kind of hit random on it because, uh, I don't really care. But, uh, here's the desert, desert zone, desert zone. Uh, this level you only have one, uh, quest you can choose. Other levels, there's like three, and it'll give you uh, something to accomplish in the mission to clear the level, basically. Uh, but there are multiple ones you can do in other levels, so there's a lot of levels in the game. But they do reuse them to do different objectives. This one is find the ancient scroll in the ruined library. I've never done this one, so we'll see exactly what this is all about. 
and it gives you a chance to customize everything like right before you go in. Uh, right now, my one of my spells is just straight up super fireball, which is awesome. And uh, I have one that just slow that just freezes guys, slows guys. I have two ice blocks and like a rock block or something. And my robe has a bunch of stuff. Uh, runes do different things to different stuff. So when you actually fit it, like see for the uh, robe here, let me get that shell back and show what that does. That see it says uh, on spells and wands it splits into multiple projectiles, but on robes. When you take damage, you explode, dealing damage to nearby enemies, which is awesome. I like it a lot, because I get hit a lot. Simply because, you know, keyboard and mouse games, when you're, like, trying to platform and stuff and shoot enemies with the with the mouse, you know, I'm not that great at that. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, there's so much fire. Okay. Uh, see, the, and enemies drop more runes. Uh, oh, that's a new one. And you find new runes all the time, it seems. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of guys in here. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. This is actually the craziest thing I've seen so far. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Come on. We can do this. Oh, Jesus. It's like arcing fireballs everywhere. It's awesome. Alright, get those guys. But yeah, uh, the fire... I like the fire spell the best because if you hit somebody with it, it sets everyone around him on fire with damage over time as well. It, like, passes the damage on, which is great. Uh... I wouldn't say it's OP, because I get to use it, and they don't use it on me, so, whatever. Come on. And, uh, Straight Up Fireballs also do the same thing, but, uh, for the spell that I made anyway, but, you know, it does more damage, because I have five, uh, three fire runes in there. Let me get my ice spell up. Oh man, I got poisoned. What's that about? Oh, I also have these socks, that's an artifact I have equipped. Uh, Q is your artifact, the socks that you jump, so that'll power up the jump, so now I'm glowing green, I can jump super high. Uh, there's a bunch of other artifacts that you collect. Artifacts are what you gain when you clear a mission on a level. Uh, there's a big chest at the end of every level. And you get to... Oh, man. This, and oh, yeah, and I explode on touch. So if I just walk into these guys, they get bombed. Oh, that's awesome. You do get, like, real powerful. But, uh... Oh, jeez. There's, like, some crazy bosses. Which I've pretty much steamrolled most of them so far. There was one that was really tough. But that was because, um... His pattern was just weird. Uh, the fights are are pretty um, they're pretty good. Um, one was a big knight skeleton guy where if you use the fire spell on his suit, like on his suit of armor, it eventually just melted off of him. And uh, he was just in his boxers. It was it was weird. <laughs> okay, let's kill all these guys. I forget what my mission is. I, oh, I just have to find the scroll. Okay, well, that's not too hard. There's other missions where it's like um, use a certain spell to kill a certain enemy so many times, stuff like that. Uh, kind of just ticking boxes kind of thing. And then when you beat the, if you don't complete that, by the time you beat the boss, you don't have to leave the level, but it will tell you like when you try, like, hey, you didn't complete all your missions, you, you wanna go? And man, I'm actually really hurt here. Okay, this is actually getting bad. Let's see if I can uh, make something happen here. Oh man, that is, oh, 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 don't die. Do not die. Don't you die on me. Okay. Well, let's come through here. But yeah, so far this is... This is pretty... Right here is pretty representative of what I've experienced so far. It's just a lot of enemies all around, and you kind of have to puzzle your way through... To get through the level without uh, being completely annihilated. That opening part, though, was nuts. That was the most enemies I've ever seen in a spawn location so far. I forget that this projectile has, like, weight on it. For some reason, it's like... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, I got poisoned to death. Uh, I'm floating. Oh, I exploded. <laughs> uh, reason for termination, general incompetence. I got fired because I died. That's pretty harsh. I mean, I'm already dead. You don't have to take my job away. It's not like I'm showing up Monday anyway, you know what I mean? Find that scroll. Besides keeping it out of the wrong hands, you also stand a lot to learn from ancient magics. New materials discovered. Repulsor energy. Rift Crystal and Noxious Spore. See, I didn't even get very far on that level, and I already discovered three more freaking materials. That's crazy. Uh, I think materials are different, though. I think materials are used to create new runes, and I think you can do... I haven't actually done that. There's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. Uh, let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Oh, uh, I think... There's different crafting things. Uh, this is the spell thing. Let's see. What do we do that? Hmm. Well, I can change my... Change my artifact, because I just got this one. This one is, uh, you hold Q for one second and deals damage to all enemies on screen. The damage is three times the number of enemies killed. So, 
I think as you're playing the level, the more enemies you kill, the more powerful that gets, and then you have an AoE attack that's just epic, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to actually craft runes. Let's see here. There's the alchemy station. Is that it? Okay, I have stones. I don't know what that is. Wait. Oh, I see. I can craft you. And that'll create a lightning rod rune. Okay. So essences create runes. What do stones do? Huh. Like, I know you need certain essence. Maybe you need stones and essences to create. Because I have this. Oh, I can create a D level rock with that. Okay. Huh. I I'm still not sure what these do. But I see, like, the different tabs. So you, you can upgrade your stuff using this somehow. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's things that just aren't explained very well. I guess that's my complaint. Maybe I just wasn't paying close enough attention uh, in the beginning of the game, but... Let's see. Oh, this is just a... Uh, what? What is this? What? What is this? Oh. What? Oh, that's just another uh, spellcrafting thing. They say that there's all these different places in the... Uh, college where you can do different stuff, but I've noticed that in that one that I went to at the beginning, I can just do it all from there, which is weird. Oh, here's how you customize a character. You go to this lady, get in here, and uh, you can customize colors of the different items you have. There's a bunch of different hat models you can use, just wizard hats, um, crowns, a bunch of different kind of hats, actually. That's yeah, pretty sweet. That's Those are glasses on top of my head? I'm already wearing glasses. Oh, well, I'll go with double glasses. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, well, that's... That's fine. Let's just go with that. I like this floating sword that follows me everywhere. I'm not actually holding it. That's the artifact that I have. Your artifacts just kind of follow you around. Go cheetahs! Woo! Um, let's see here. There's another level we can go to. Somewhere around here. Where'd it go? I know there's one downstairs. Was there one up here? I feel like there was one up here. Oh, yeah, there is one up here. Let's go in there, then. Huzzah! But yeah, I also really, really like the music. Uh, it's, I know, the whole game's cute. Everything about it's just cutesy. Wandmaker, you need to... What? No. Oh. Wandmaker, we need to make better... We need to better protect the school. Only one thing can help us. Ancient artifacts of dangerous and unnoble power, and I know just the place to get them. Deep within the temple lies the older wand. The first... Oh, this is the one I couldn't beat. All right, this is what I didn't like. <laughs> There's, like, puzzles... This level basically has a crap ton of puzzles in it. Oh, hey. What's up, buddy? What you doing? Shrine of the Secret Way. So, as you're completing levels, you're supposed to collect these uh, gems. And if you beat the level... Whenever you beat the level, there's, like, a room that has a ton of chests in it. Uh, treasure chests in it. And if you... For every one of these gems you collect in the stage before you beat it... You get another treasure chest. It'll if you don't get all the gems, the chest will be there, but it'll be trapped and you can't actually touch it. So this is the puzzle I was talking about. Oh jeez, you gotta like move these freaking stones. Uh, come on, what are you doing? Get out of here, worker. Yeah, I didn't like this level because, oh jeez, this is actually different than the last time. Last time the screen would go dark whenever the thing would appear, and uh. Some big squid thing you would attack me. You see this evil's like showing up, and then he just comes out of nowhere and attacks me. And uh it'll continuously do that. Oh yeah, I can duck. There we go. Let's see, we gotta get oh, I'm trapped. And I'm being attacked. I, I can shoot him, but oh, Jesus. Okay, just leave me alone, man. I'm just trying to move these gems. I'm trying to move gems here. I'm working here. Get out of here. Hey, we attack. Oh yeah, I didn't kill anything yet. It did nothing! The, the sword does nothing. Come on. So I have to, like, jump. But this, but the spell I have doesn't... The spell I have is weight, so I can't just shoot forward. Oh, damn it. All right, I'm just getting out of here. This sucks. <laughs> Don't let that be indicative of the entire game. I've had a lot of fun with it, but... Oh, that level. Maybe if I have a different spell that actually shoots straight forward, it would be easier, but... Oh, man. I played that level a few times. There's a part in that level where you have to, like, do real precise platforming. It doesn't really work very well with the keyboard and mouse setup they have going. But that's Magic Maker, everybody. 
I think it's pretty cool. I've been having a lot of fun with it, actually. Um, it'll be, I believe, let me look, $9.99 on Steam on September 22nd. It's pretty cool. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out yourself. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.